training for about 45 minutes today. It's a tea time session. We're just gonna do a series of drills. And uh, the coaches are gonna be, I'll have them step into the camera, Coach yeah. Isaiah. Uh, you guys have probably seen these guys around Top Gun. Uh, it's Coach Isaiah. Uh, he's a New York Yankees minor league prospect. Uh, really excited to have him back out of Florida playing baseball right now. As I'm sure you guys must be, uh, be a lot happier uh, back doing what you're used to be doing as well. Uh, and this is Coach Payton. Uh, he's one of our professional coaches here at Top Gun. Uh, he runs about 25% of our academy classes. So these are going to be your coaches for the day. Um, coaches, the floor is all yours. Like Mr. John said, thank you guys for joining us. Um, today I'll uh, give you a quick brief overview of what we're going to go over. Um, like Coach me, Coach uh, me and Isaiah, sorry, are uh, going to go over the fundamentals of what we think is important to master. Because uh, just like on a house, if you don't have a good foundation built, it's going to fall apart. And same with your swing. So uh, first things first, we're going to talk about the three different zones of the plate. I kind of have this diagram written out for you. This is for a right-handed hitter. So if you're left-handed, it's going to be the opposite. Inside and outside are going to switch, but we'll go over inside first. So this inside pitch right here, this is ideally where we're looking to make contact with the ball on the plate. Um, we're not trying to let it travel too far in because that's going to get us pinched up and our hands are going to be inside. It's not an ideal situation. Down the middle, we're kind of trying to meet it right here out in front or on top of the plate. Um, now for outside, it's a little bit trickier. We're going to try and wait as long as possible, let it go deep into the zone to make contact with that. And ideally, outside should go towards first baseline. Down the middle can go Ideally, anywhere, usually it's going to go up the middle. Now, inside, we're going to drive that down third baseline. Um, so those are our three main zones. Now, I'm going to give you, from catcher's perspective, view. So this is going to be little Timmy. This is our home plate. Same thing again. We got inside, middle, and outside. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw a little section here for you. So now you can see we've got our three sections. So inside each of these zones, there are three other what I like to call nine point hot spots. And each of these hot spots are potential strikes for you guys, uh, which means you guys have to practice on the tee, mastering each part of these zones. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you these nine point hot spots real quick. It kinda looks like a tic-tac-toe board, right? So we have high inside, right? We got middle inside, we got low inside. Those are all three potential strikes that we have to be able to make contact with, right? Same with the middle. We have the high middle, middle middle, right? And then low middle. Outside, we have high outside, low out, or middle outside and low outside, right? So these are the three kind of areas that we're gonna be covering while we're practicing our drills on the tee today. It's uh, part of the fundamentals of baseball. It might seem simple to some of you, but in here somewhere is gonna be a favorite pitch and a weak pitch for you, right? So we're kind of trying to master all of it figure out what those are. Um, I'm gonna hand it over to Isaiah for right now. All right, so today we're just gonna have some um, directional hitting like he just hit on. Um, to start, we're gonna just start in the middle to let you guys get loose. So we're gonna try to set the tee up where we have that middle pitch. All right, so try to set that tee right, right in front of the plate. Um, and we're just gonna get loose, driving the baseball right up the middle. You should see ball going right into whatever circle that you guys have, whatever your net is. Um, so I will go get set up as well, and then I'll give you a couple minutes just to get loose, and then we'll get into the, uh, uh, the fundamentals of your base for your legs. So I'll give you a couple minutes to hit, start swinging, just get your body loose. So hopefully you guys can hear me from here. Um, I'm going to be setting up this T um, just under belt height to start. So we're, this is going to be that middle, middle pitch in the tic-tac-toe, okay? So right down in the middle. All we're focusing on is getting our bodies loose and drive this ball right up the middle of the, of the neck.
They should be nice and easy. These swings should be at about 40 to 50% right now. We're just getting warmed up. We're not trying to hit home runs or anything. We're just working on clean uh, bat path through the zone and back half of the ball. Remember guys, this is not a race. We're not trying to get a million swings in today. Uh, make sure that you're taking your time in between pitches to make sure that we're doing it correctly. Take about five more swings and then we'll talk about the base. <clears throat> Take one more, one or two more swings. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna talk about the lower half. This is where the majority of your power and consistency is gonna come from, okay? So you can probably see throughout my swings, the lower half of my body is usually ending up in the same exact spot. Okay, so we want to keep the majority of our weight on our back leg, all right? So a lot of you guys have been in my classes, we talk about stepping on ice, right? So that, that initial move should be light on that front foot. Okay, so when we get in our position, the majority of our weight is balanced and in control on the inside half of this back leg. So however your move is, whether you're a leg kick guy, or you're just a step, or you, you widen your base and you stay planted, the majority of your weight you want to keep in that back leg, all right? So that front foot, think about stepping on ice. Right there. So you see how in the, in the video, the majority of my weight is back here, right? It's not outside, I'm not leaning back here, but the majority of my weight is towards the back side, all right? So I want you guys to focus on getting into that position before you actually swing, okay? So wherever you're comfortable, get into that ready position with the majority of your weight on your back foot. Pause, take a look, make sure that you're in the right position here, and then go ahead and follow through with your swing, okay? Another thing is 
your follow through. When I'm following through and I'm finishing my swing, notice that I'm not leaning forward and I'm not reaching back either, right? We're gonna think about a pole going through the top of your head, top of your head, all the way through the middle of your body, right? You're not gonna be able to move the pole forward or backwards, right? You're gonna rotate along the pole. So look where I'm finishing. If I stay, start here, I step and I rotate on that pole, look at the position that my body's in, it's nice and strong. Weight is still on this back leg. You get this L on that back leg and this front, front leg is almost locked, okay? So this front leg is straight. We're gonna keep the majority of our weight centered right here, never moves, right? Rotate, stays put, all my weight right there. So go ahead and get in your position, ready position. Go ahead and check your lower half and then follow through and see if you can keep that balance point, okay? We'll take about 10, 15 more swings just like that, okay? So I want you guys following through and then checking yourself both before and after the pitch or after the swing. Remember, we're still doing middle, middle. I'm gonna get ready, step on the ice, need most of my weights back, go ahead and follow the swing. As you follow through, you should still see that L, the back leg, and a straight front leg, okay? The weight should still stay on that back leg. Take your time in between each rep, okay? But it's how the center of his head stays in the center of his entire body the entire swing. It's lined up right between his legs. Correct. Right. My head, you don't see my head moving forward or backward with my body, right? And he's centered, right? That pole's going from the top of my head all the way through the ground, okay? You're going to rotate along that pole, okay? You don't want to be moving forward or pulling back. All right, now, while doing these drills, I know some of you guys from experience, from watching you guys in person when coming to the classes, um, I'll show you a side view. Some of you guys have a hard time when following through, you feel like your body's leaning in one way or the other. So, if I'm facing you, and I go throughout my swing, and I follow through, and my, you feel your body going this way, or if you swing through, and you feel like you're falling over that way, you're doing something wrong, right? We want to keep our bodies nice and balanced. If our body is balanced and consistent, you get more consistent power and more consistent results, okay? So we should be following through, head on the ball, okay? Slight tilt with your upper body, eyes behind the baseball. And then when we're following through and finishing, you should be able to look straight down and see that, yes, the weight's on, but at the same time, I'm not over the plate, and I'm not also falling this way, all right? Falling away from the ball. So do a couple more to just make sure that we're following through, and it has the same, uh, same balance point every single time. Let's take about five to seven more swings, just making sure 
that our balance point is consistent. Right there. Okay. Nothing more. And I'm going to watch some of you guys on the camera so I can see what you guys are doing a little bit. Oh, God. Yeah. Making sure we're getting a nice long pause after each swing, right? We want to swing through. After that follow through, we want to hold that pose and make sure that we have good balance. Okay, take your time in between each swing. There you go. And remembering to keep our weight towards the back side of our, of our body, right? That back foot, that back leg, when he follows through, his weight needs to be the majority of his weight is gonna be on this back leg, okay? Remember, we're stepping on ice with that front side, with that front foot. Nice job. Couple more. All right, now we're gonna do some directional hitting. Now we're gonna get into the inside, middle, and outside pitches, okay? Um, I like to start when I'm doing my workouts with the outside pitches, just because it forces my body to stay behind the baseball. A lot of guys wanna, you know, go up there for a batting practice and just try to hit home runs immediately. And while you can do that and it can be fun, um, it kind of practices bad habits for in the game. So what I like to do is I set up my T, right? I'm gonna show you the diagram again, on the outside part of the plate, okay? So it's gonna be much deeper on the outside part of the plate. That's gonna really make you focus on staying behind the baseball and keeping your hands nice and tight into your body, okay? You guys can see that. So set that T up a little bit further back and on the outside part of the plate. Now remember that we're not changing our stance or where we are in the box, okay? It might feel a little bit awkward having the, the ball further back in the zone, it might be a little awkward, but trust me, that's where we want to make contact with that ball from the same exact spot that you would normally stand. So make sure you're not trying to cheat the drill and move back just because the ball is a little bit further back. Try to stay exactly where you were for the pitch that was middle, middle. Um, what you guys also might wanna do is move your net or rotate the plate slightly because these balls are gonna go towards right field, okay? So if we're doing it correctly, these balls are gonna go towards, at an angle towards right field. So just make sure that when you're hitting, uh, you don't miss the net because the net's not lined up properly. So the goal for this is to get it further back in our hitting swing, okay? So the swing never changes, right? The swing is still gonna start here. This would be middle, middle, right? This is in the, in the same swing path, right? So it's gonna be the exact same all the way through the zone, all the way through. The only difference is instead of us meeting the ball here in the swing path, we're meeting it a little bit further back here, okay? So this ball 
on the outside part of the plate is going to be now angled. If I have it angled back here, it's going to shoot off towards right field. And that's where we want to take this ball, this outside ball. We want this dro driven towards right center and right field. All right. Uh, yeah, if we can have it towards the back, I'll, I'll rotate this. Okay, so from this view, I'm gonna set this ball to the outside part of the plate, a little bit further back in the zone. Now, this ball, we wanna move uh, wherever we're hitting into towards the direction of where this ball is gonna be going, okay? Might take a second for you to get used to where this ball is actually gonna go. So, we're catching this ball further back in the zone, and we're taking this ball towards right center. Or right field okay same placement at the plate right same thing if i was going to hit middle middle the only thing that's changing is i'm hitting it a little bit further back okay it's the same thing with your body right we're not reaching for that outside ball and we're not we're not bending further to go get it okay it's the same exact swing but instead of meeting it square, we're meeting it a little bit further back in the zone, okay? We're not reaching for it. Keeping our hands nice and tight inside, we're just meeting it a little bit further back. Now, if your swing is consistent, just like we were doing middle, middle, all of these balls will be in the exact same location. It'll all be towards right center, all right? Don't change your swing be based on where the pitch is, okay? The pitch is gonna be in the exact same, we're talking about the same speed, right? The ball's not moving. The swing is gonna be the same. It's just where we're hitting it in the zone, okay? So these outside pitches, you're gonna let the ball travel in just a tick longer to get this ball a little bit further back in the zone, okay? So I'll give you about three, four minutes of these swings. Just get used to driving the ball to right center, okay? Keeping your hands in nice and tight, nice and tight. Swinging all the way through, from right here, all the way through. Same follow through, same pause. If you guys feel like the ball is popping up, keep in mind that you might be reaching. So just be aware. Right. So also remember that we're not stepping with our front foot towards where the ball is going, right? We're stepping straight forward towards the pitcher every single time. Okay. So a lot of you guys might want to cheat by stepping towards the pitch. If the pitch is outside, we're going to want to step to it. That's not actually what we want to do. We want to step forward the whole time, right? Directly forward towards where the pitch is coming from.
We'll do about five to seven more swings to the oppo, the opposite field. It's about two more swings, and then we'll move on to the fun stuff. All right, now we're gonna set it up for pull side, okay? So on this diagram, we're talking about the ones that are inside pitches, okay, to the righties, all right? So this ball is gonna be a little bit further out front on the plate and obviously towards the inside, towards the body, okay? So this ball, we're looking to drive to left center, okay? We don't want to pull these balls uh so hard that they become foul right so that's why we work on opposite first is to uh teach ourselves to keep our hands inside and tight right so especially with outside pitches our tendencies are to go reach for the ball we don't want our hands to go reach for these balls because now if i'm in this position and reaching and the balls are towards the inside part of the plate, then my body has to come all the way back in to get to those pitches. Versus if we teach our body to keep our hands in nice and tight, we can still reach the outside pitches, the middle pitches, and then also keep our hands inside the inside pitches so we can drive the ball to left center instead of coming around and pulling it down the line, okay? So these balls are gonna be pretty hard to hit if you're cheating and getting your hands out or opening up too far, okay? So this one, we're not gonna to try to pull these balls down the left field line or the right field line for lefties, okay? These balls, you still wanna to try to train yourself to hit to left center, okay? Not left field, does that make sense? So position it towards the inside part of the plate, just close enough where you don't feel like you're reaching out forward to get it, but we're really practicing on keeping our hands inside and try to drive these to left center, all right? Yeah. 
So inside, back to the side, outside the distance, in the middle. So the second. Our tendencies are going to want to have to keep our hands out and then come back in. And these balls are going to end up pulling all the way to the left or to the third baseline. That's not what we want. So we want these balls to still go not up the middle, but left center. Okay, we don't want to pull them too far over. So if you feel yourself chopping a lot of balls into the dirt or going down left field line foul, it's because our hands are coming out just a little bit, okay? So just like the outside pitches that we were training with and keeping our hands inside, it's gonna be the same thing and even more important now where we need to keep our hands nice and tight with our body and really force our hands inside so make contact and bring that ball in fair territory in left center. The same thing with these. Remember, we're not cheating. Just like with the outside pitches, we don't want to cheat and step to the ball. And the same thing with the inside pitches, we don't want to cheat and step out to clear a path, okay? We're clearing the path by putting our hands and keeping your hands in tight. And that'll clear a path for the bat to get through the zone. Notice how okay? his arm and his lats are almost glued together. As right. He comes to the this point. back elbow is nice and tight to my body, right there with my waist, okay? And that's what's going to allow that bat to get through the zone, even on the inside pitches. Notice I can still reach the outside. I can still reach middle. And I can still reach the inside pitches. Okay. Okay. So keep tight. Keep those hands nice and tight inside the body. Slow control. Yep. Take your time. Take your time. We got a few more minutes. Really try to challenge yourself, okay? Bring this ball in really close in on the plate and see if you can get these balls to almost go right back up the middle, okay? Thinking left center for you righties and right center for those lefties. Got to keep it in the big part of the field. We don't want these pulled down the lines. A couple more swings here.
All right, and then now we're gonna finish off by going back to middle, middle, okay? Now, if these balls, you see a tendency for them to go one side or the other, then you know that you're treating, uh, you're cheating your drill work, okay? Um, it's really important to get all this work in, uh, especially on the tee. So you guys are really lucky that you have this opportunity to get your tee work in. Um, this, if you can do this consistently, this helps you uh, perform in the game, okay? A lot more consistently, all right? Um, high schoolers, college players, and professional ballers like myself, we always go back and practice T work, okay? So if we're having a tough time and we can't figure out what's wrong with our swings or we just want to get better, we always go back to the basics. And this is square one, okay? If you can do this consistently and get good at this, then you can build off of it and become a better overall hitter, okay? So we're gonna go back to middle, middle to finish it off and make sure that we can still drive these balls up the middle, okay? So we're gonna finish off with a middle, middle ball, all right? Correct. And we'll we'll focus on um, different positions and different height levels probably next time that we do uh, our T work. So for today, we're just going to focus on one level. Um, but then next time, if you guys come back, then we'll start talking about um, teaching and alternating the heights, okay, to make it a little bit more challenging. Yeah, middle, middle. And remember, we're trying to keep our balance all the way through the swing and after the swing. When you follow, finish that swing, make sure you feel balanced and in control, okay? See how he's not falling one way or the other? After he swings, he's got his balance, okay? Balance also means control. Control means more power. More power also means more consistency. It's some good swings. I like it. Close it out. All right, so thank you guys for joining us once again. And like Coach Isaiah was saying, um, T work is below nobody. T work is where it all starts. If you can't hit it while it's still, you're going to hit it while it's moving, right? So it's a great place to just work on your weaknesses and strengths, right? It's good to know both and master them, right? Um, uh, just keep working at it, right? T work is pretty much all we have right now, right? So there's no excuse to not be doing it. We don't need to be on the couch playing video games. We could be improving ourselves, making ourselves better players, right? When we get out back onto those fields, we want to show all that hard work we put in, right? And if you're not actually putting in the hard work, it's not going to be anything there to show. So it's very important to keep at it, even though it's T, and I know. While you're young, it seems simple and 
not as fun as a live pitcher. It's still extreme, extremely important. So that being said, Mr. John. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I just want to ask that you get with your parents and maybe I'll put a, together a few thoughts and email us at john, J-O-N, at topgunball.com or on our webpage, there's a concept. You can uh, just uh, fill out that form and it'll get to me. I'd really like to hear your feedback about today's session. Again, this is our first session. We thank you for your patience. We thank you for attending. Uh, we really would like to hear from you. That would help us a lot. Uh, and be on the lookout. We're going to have more of these uh, free training sessions. Uh, we're going to start next week, starting Monday. So hopefully we'll have a full curriculum set up. <clears throat> Excuse me. By then, uh, all week next week, Monday to Friday, uh, we're going to have a class every day at 3 o'clock. That's our plan. All right? Thanks for joining us. 